Um, let me see. Good afternoon, everyone. We are live. This is uh, Rosemary Altea, Healing Hands Around the World. Welcome, 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 welcome to everybody. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say hello to my um, my spirit guide, Great Eagle. And um, uh, Kicholo is actually not in the corner right now, which is where he usually is. He's laid by the laid by the the door because the the uh, the floor is cool for his little body because it's very hot here in Florida today. And uh, I'd also like to say hello to Michelle. Michelle, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> and we are doing this again remotely. Will she ever come back? Do you think? Will you ever come back to me, Michelle? Do you think? Whenever you let me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you come. You can come back. You can come back anytime. All right. So, uh, what are we doing today? Oh, yes, that's right. This is our healing hands around the world, uh, where we join with uh, anybody and everybody around the world who likes to join with me. We hold hands uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> And we send out our healing energy, our healing thoughts, and our healing energy, which is what we are absolutely going to do today. Um, I would just like to mention, though, before we begin, um, you know, I a friend of mine asked me a question. We were we were uh, driving somewhere. I think we were just driving actually, just to just to get out of out of doors, and we we're driving along, and she said to me. Uh, what happens to people in the spirit world who have had sort of issues let's say that they are mean or they're miserable you know when they're living their lives on this earth what, what happens if they're mean and if they're miserable or if they're cruel to other people you know what happens it, she said to me you know do they uh, do they suddenly change do they suddenly become nice people do they ever realize uh, you know how they affect other people do they ever say they're sorry do they have remorse and so on and so forth so all these questions come flying at me and uh, i had to stop her at one point and say well actually it really depends on the person there are people who uh, don't even realize or know how miserable they are they don't even realize how they affect other people with that misery or the sadness that they have because they're so in, immersed in their own feelings they're so immersed in their own sadness or in their own in their own selves uh, either they're full of resentment or they're full of anger or they're simply full of despair and they haven't a clue uh, how uh, their their attitude affects other people and um, and they are the people who um, are no matter who you meet, no matter where you go, and no matter who who comes into your home. They're the people who who just continue to act the same, no matter what, no matter who they meet. The people, of course, who change and become really nice and really friendly and really happy when other people are around, and then revert back to the miserable person that they are when everybody's gone and they don't have to impress anybody in, anymore of course those are the people who do realize uh, uh how they affect you but they obviously don't care um so you know we've got all sorts of people um uh, miserable for for uh, a variety of different reasons and and uh you know the old saying misery loves company is sometimes often true but what happens when these miserable and sometimes often cruel or mean people what happens to them when they you know when it's the, their turn and off they go sometimes they uh you know sort of at the last minute they say they're sorry uh, what good they think that does I have no idea but at least they do say they're sorry they have some remorse or perhaps they're saying sorry because they're hoping that God hears them and, and they hope that God thinks that they're being sincere whether they are or not what happens to these people are they accepted by God are they shoved off into another place are they are they given an opportunity to come to the light or to have the light shine on them and this is my experience of what happens what happens very often is that uh 
you know, it's a bit scary because when we do stand in the light, even those of us who try to live a good life, we've tried to do the best we can, even those of us who have immense faith that God is going to accept us warts and all, uh, it's still, I'm sure, a little bit scary when you step into the light because when you do step into that light, that bright light, which is that God force, that universal God energy that is out there, that light shines a bright, bright light on you and you cannot hide. It shines a light on who you are, on who you have been. It shines a light on your nature. It, it, it shows everyone else who you are, but most importantly, it shines a light for you to see who you are. And for those people who have not been necessarily uh, good or decent or or they've made other people's lives misery or so on, trust me, the light will shine and they will have to face the fact that they have affected other people adversely because, you know, we, you know, that saying that our life flashes before us and it's not quite like that, but we certainly do get to see how who we are and who we've been and what we are how much it has affected other people and also how much it has affected our lack of growth, our lack of spiritual growth. And that's scary. So I'm sure there are lots of people who do hesitate. Um, I know for myself, uh, warts and all, I'm going to just jump in there because if I've been a bad influence, if I've been an awful person, and of course there are times that I have, I am put my hand up and I'm going to own it and hopefully you know God loves me anyway so uh, and I do believe that but I'm going to own it and uh, for those for those situations that I've been in that I've had an adverse effect on people I know that I shall be remorseful so I'm prepared for it you know people talk about the judgment day and it's much more about us judging ourselves than it is about God judging us that God force, that light, that light that we are going to be using today, that healing light, that universal God force that is out there is for all of us. None of us will be turned away. No matter how awful or horrible or cruel or mean, if we step into the light, it's because we want to be better. It's because we are willing to accept uh, that we're going to look at ourselves and that we're going to see ourselves as we really are and once we can accept ourselves then we can move forward and start our spiritual journey and our spiritual growth but there are those who are too afraid perhaps there are those who uh, don't want the light they much prefer that dark side of, of uh, the universe they much prefer to step into that dark side of the universe because they are what we call dark souls. If you, if you want to know more about soul, soul types and so on, then you should read my, my book, um, A Garden of Souls, because it describes all of this stuff and it describes how the souls we are created and who we are and why we are and so on and so forth. But there is a section on dark souls and believe you me, there are such things in this life. I used to say, you know, we all of us everybody on this planet has got a little bit of god in them but i i have learned that there are those in the minority i must add who do not have the light of god within them they and they don't want the light of god in them and so we call we call them dark souls but for the main part what we're going to do today is to build our energy and to send our energy out to be the best that it can possibly be. We're going to do that by visualization. We're going to do that by just, uh, you can do it just by simply saying a, a prayer or a simple thing. Um, we're going to try to build our energy. And if you are a person, and you will know when I'm speaking to you, if you are that person, who is mean and grumpy and miserable and who makes everybody else's life miserable too. I'd like you to think that, you know, don't don't wait. Don't wait till you pop your clogs and, and then you have to, you know, face your maker, so to speak, or face yourself, really. Um, change, want to change, want to be different, want to bring that light into your 
life. And this is what healing is about, bringing life and energy to our spirit so that we can heal our soul. And that is the most important thing. Of course, we want to heal the physical issues. Of course we do. But first and foremost, when we give healing, we give healing to the soul. So if you are that person who is grumpy and grouchy and you know that you're making everybody miserable, but you really don't care because you're in pain or you're having a struggle, stop. You stop. And if you are that person who has to live with somebody like this, move on. Let them be who they want to be. By all means, share your love and your light, but don't let them define you, please. Don't let somebody else's attitude, somebody else's meanness bring you down or pull you down. I know it's easy for me to say that. It's easy, you know, to, to, for somebody to say, oh, you shouldn't let him do this or that, or you shouldn't let her have that effect on you. Well, when you're living in it, it's not so easy, is it? But if you give yourself this beautiful healing that we that we do on, on our Wednesday shows, if you give yourself this beautiful healing every day, you will become less and less and less affected by other people and other people's attitude, especially those miserable or negative attitudes that people have. You'll become less affected by it. You'll become stronger. Your spirit will flower. It will be bright and beautiful and your soul will glow with an inner contentment and an inner happiness and it will you know it will help you and strengthen you so that you can you know get on with your own life and get on with your own positive positivity don't worry about you know making somebody else's miserable life happier because if somebody's choosing to miser be miserable it's their choice so when we pass into the spirit world, what we really want to do, and we're actually the, the one sure thing in this world, you do know this, right? The one sure thing is that we are all, we're all going there. You know, the one sure thing is uh, once we're born, uh, the inevitable is that we die. We hope to live a long and a happy life. But during our lifetime and during our existence here on this earth, um, try if you can as i do to live with as few regrets as you possibly can so that when you pass into that uh, other world into that beautiful bright light you can stand there you know you've done things wrong of course we've all done you know you know that there are things that you're going to regret you know that you wish you'd behaved better or differently or so on of course we're all going to know that but if you can live the best you can and the most positive you can that's what we're looking for here and we just have to leave those other people who choose to be negative who choose to be disrespectful or angry or whatever it is we have to leave them to deal with themselves at a certain point because first and foremost we must always give healing to our own self okay so having bearing that in mind and building ourselves and building ourselves up here we're going to give ourselves some healing before we start that i don't know if dean is on or if dean is listening happy birthday to you dean happy birthday and to all of the rest of you out there who are having uh birthdays you must 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 have wonderful wonderful birthdays make that day a special day for you if, if you possibly can so let's sit in a nice comfy chair back straight feet on the ground and with all that little blurb that i did think positive 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 uh, even those of you who are having a hard time you feel grumpy today or if you feel in a bad mood today stop 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 we're not having it we want good energy we want positive energy we want the energy that we are putting into our own selves and absorbing into our own selves we want that energy be energy to be the best the most powerful the most beautiful and we want the energy that we're putting out and sending out to other people to also be the best that we can possibly bring it so feet on the ground nice and straight palms palms up hands on our lap palms up in a receiving position take a breath are we ready all right dear god please allow us to be a part of this healing process allow us to absorb this unbelievable universal healing allow it to enter us allow us to be receptive to it 
and allow our spirit to grow because of it. Please allow us to participate and to also to send our energy and our healing thoughts and our healing prayers out to all of those who may need our thoughts and our good positive energy. And of course, dear God, I will to thy will. Okie koki. Breathing in through your solar plexus, breathing in nicely, breathing in that fantastic, beautiful healing energy, that gorgeous blue healing energy that is surrounding us. And again, we're going to use the, the candy floss or the, uh, or the can cotton candy. I'm going to say candy floss from now on because I am British and it's hard for me to say cotton candy. So you'll know what it is I mean. Right. So visualize that incredible big drum, a huge, huge drum of um, uh, candy floss. And remember when you go to the fairground, they put the stick in, and the thing goes around and around and you gather all this incredible, beautiful, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's even green. So visualize that and visualize that you are in this drum and you are this stick and this candy floss, this fabulous, fabulous, beautiful, these beautiful colors are surrounding you and encasing you and you're becoming a cocoon. You're like the, you know, this the little grub that's becoming the cocoon and you're going to be wrapped in this incredible, beautiful healing cocoon that is going to heal you and feed you and keep you safe so that when you emerge from this cocoon, you're going to be this beautiful, beautiful, incredible butterfly. So visualize this energy, the blues, the greens, the pinks, the yellows, all nice and bright colors breathing in through your solar plexus again breathing in breathing in bringing it up into your lungs holding it holding in your lungs holding 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 this beautiful energy and then allow it to flow through you to flow through the whole of your top half of your body down and down and down your arms and eventually flowing out of your palm centers and out through your fingertips and breathe and I'd like you to do that just breathing in nicely and gently and breathing in now some of you may now feel as I am feeling a blue blanket a soft warm baby blue blanket being placed around my shoulders so beautiful, so lovely, so just warming and healing and just allow it to flow, allow it to flow around you, allow it to flow through you and breathing in again through your solar plexus. You know how to do it. We've done it now for several weeks. So you, you know, you know how to do this. Remember, stay calm, stay peaceful and visualize you can visualize yourself lying under a blue sky, laying on green grass. You can visualize yourself being cocooned in this beautiful candy floss world. You can visualize yourself wrapped in a blue, blue blanket, whichever feels the most comfortable, the most beautiful for you. And remember breathing in through your solar plexus and bringing in that energy, this pure, beautiful healing energy that is just for you. And when you feel that you're really nicely relaxed and enjoying and it's beautiful and you're just letting go of this incredible, beautiful energy, just breathing it in, letting it out, breathing it in and then letting it flow then I want you to visualize this incredible candy floss that's going around and around and around our world, this earth of ours, as the world is spinning, as the earth is spinning around and around, then it's becoming more and more cocooned and coated in this incredible, incredible candy floss substance, the blues, the greens, the golds, as we send out healing throughout the world to anyone and everyone who breathes in at this one moment.
and they'll breathe in that energy, that gorgeous, incredible and beautiful energy that we're sending out there. If you would rather just keep it all to yourself, that's fine too. Again, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in through your solar plexus and just bring it up into your lungs and hold it and let it flow through you. And let's do it again. Can you feel the cocoon that surrounds you? Can you feel that beautiful healing cocoon around you? You might get the sense of a bit of a fluttering inside. You might get a sense of, uh, yes, you're caged in. Yes, you're protected. You're being held close, but you might get a sense of uh, being able to, whenever you're ready, break through that cocoon, break through that chrysalis, that healing chrysalis that you're in. And just imagine the new life and the new beauty when you become this incredible and beautiful butterfly. The Apache believe that the butterfly is the symbol of happiness and the joy, great happiness and joy. The butterfly is a very special symbol for my daughter because when she was a little girl, I would see butterflies all around her. If you want happiness in your life, if you want joy in your life, breathe in that healing energy. Because the only person who's stopping you from doing this and from gaining this happiness and from gaining this healing, the only person who will stop you is yourself. If you choose to believe that it can't work for you, if you choose to believe the negative rather than the positive. So in this moment in time, let's just focus on the positive and for our final time breathing in and breathing in through our solar plexus, breathing in full, 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 full. Take a good lungful of this beautiful healing energy that we have, surround yourself visualize it swirling around you and not just swirling around you but permeating going into you going through you flowing through you in a natural and an easy and a beautiful way so that you feel peaceful and you feel calm and as you do this and as you're feeling this calm and as you're feeling this peace know that your soul is rejoicing know that your soul is receiving this healing which means that when the soul receives healing it begins to flower and the spirit and the light of the soul gets bigger and brighter and will fill you from the inside out so that when you're done and we take that breath we're hoping you have a smile on your face. Relax, let it go. Healing takes just a few moments, you know. If you have a healer who gives you a half an hour or an hour even, um, that's okay. Uh, she may feel or he may feel that you're going to benefit from it, but I can assure you that Healing takes just a few seconds, if that. Uh, so do this every day. Think of this every day. Let go of your own worries and concerns. Let go and let God put your faith in that universal God force. And relax. Okay, take a minute, take a breath. How you doing, Michelle? We're good. Addison took part in that one today too. She needed it. Good. Okay. Is she asleep? <laughs> Not quite. 
Well, tell her to just lie there and relax and enjoy herself. Okay. All right. I know we have one or two people here. I know we have one or two questions. So I'm going to let you know now. I don't know about everybody else's end, but I was glitching out a little bit during the healing show. You were doing what? It was glitching out. Like I'd have to go out and come back in and then go out and come back in. Oh, really? Oh. So I don't know if anybody else had issues. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we hope not, but... You know, I'm afraid we can't really control what's going on uh, in the big wide internet out there so we just have to take it as it comes uh, but if any of you did uh, go in and out or you didn't have the um, experience that you were hoping to have uh, just you know d d we have we've been doing we've been doing this healing show now for several weeks if not at least two or three months or something and so you know, just uh, you can always go into one of the other shows, and uh, if this one is broken up for whatever reason, you can always go into one of the other shows and and check check that out. I'm going to advise that you give healing to yourselves every single day, but it's up to you. And sometimes, you know, if you need it, two or three times a day, why not? Right, Michelle. Do we have anyone there? Is there anybody there, Michelle? Um, Pamela says hello from the lawn. Hi, Pamela. Um, Judith is on and she says hello all. Hi. Stephanie says hello. Sarah says hello. Um, Margaret says hi from Trieste. Where's Trieste? Italy. Yeah, but whereabouts? North, south? I think, think it's middle Italy. I, I, Don't quote I, me on it. I really should know, but uh, unfortunately. Anyway, carry on. Keep going. Um, Violet's on. Hi, Violet. And Violet said, partway through the healing meditation, I started to think of butterflies, and then you mentioned it. <laughs> I also felt someone stroke my hair. It was lovely. Oh, nice. Very nice. I love that when those things happen. You know, and we love to hear, you know, if people have ha are having experiences due their, during their healing sessions. You know, we'd love to hear what you're feeling, what you're thinking, if, you know, if... Uh, you know, we 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 just we're just really nosy. We just like to hear how you're affected by it and if it's working for you. Thank you for that, Violet. Karen, friend, sorry, which was really. Good. You just I said Karen and her mom. Yeah. So that you guys that they didn't glitch out at all on their end. Oh, good, good. They're in Canada, so that's good. Um, Judith said she's very calm now. Rosemary and her surroundings were very pink when I first opened up my eyes. It was beautiful. Oh, good. You know the color of pink, don't you? You know what it signifies? It signifies love, 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 love. And there's lots of that. Whenever we're giving healing, of course, we're giving all of our beautiful energy. That our, you know, we, we're sending our love and so on. So that's good. Um... Next, we have Donna, who says, hi, Rosemary and all. Hi, Donna. Oh, Sue said she missed it. It's okay. You can rewatch it. No, don't worry, darling. Uh, Michelle's. you can either rewatch it on our Facebook page or you can watch it on YouTube because, Michelle, you're going to upload and download, aren't you, or whatever it is we do. So that's good. Uh, Margaret said it's on the northeast side of the Adriatic, about 130 from Venice. Oh, I might have been there then. We're up there in the north. Okay, yeah, all right. Thank you, darling. Thank you for that. And other than that, we are all caught up. Well, you do know the rules now, don't you all? Because if you're caught up and you have nothing to say to me, we're going to finish. We're going to end because... We love to have question times. We love to have people connecting and responding, uh, which is <laughs> lovely. But uh, if you don't, and if you don't write write in, uh, we'll we'll quit. So while you're thinking and scrabbling of questions and things you want to say to us, uh, I'm going to remind everyone of the competition, and that is uh, in two parts. The competition is first part. Uh, what is the best advice that someone has ever given to you? 
uh, what was it, uh, why or how did it work or whatever. We, we just like to know a little bit about it. And the second part of the question is, what is the best advice that you ever gave to somebody else? And why? And, oh, did they take it? Because <laughs> I know that, you know, people have given me good advice in the past and I've not taken it or, and vice versa. Uh, so, um, we, you know, we want to know a little bit about why did you give that advice? Why did you feel it necessary? And, and what happened? Did they take it or did it make a difference and so on? So we just... You know, don't I don't want you to write a book. Just you know, just write some stuff for for us, and uh, that works for me. Um, uh, May nineteenth, da 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 da, da, which is next Tuesday. May nineteenth is the closing date for our competition. I am the one and only judge, so I shall judge it all, and uh, you can. Um, you send your entries to rosemary at rosemaryaltea.com. Uh, please put in the subject line competition and that way Michelle can actually sort them all out and to be quicker about it. Uh, you can send in as many entries as you like. We're going to be having, I'm going to be giving out lots of prizes to lots of people because it happens that May 19th is my birthday and because of the COVID and all the rest of it, we can't have a party here, which is what we often do. Uh, so uh, I thought, why not just give stuff away? So that's what we'll be doing. So please send in your entries and, uh, you know, just as many as you like. And we just love to hear from you anyway. Um, do we, I keep seeing things popping up, Michelle, so I know that more and more people are making comments or something. Remember, as long as you make comments, we'll stay with you. But if you dry up, we'll dry up because, you know, we just, you know, uh, we, we want the show to be interesting, um, uh, which we hope it is. is. I, I will tell you this story. I'll give you a little bit more time to send in some comments. No, no, I won't. Send some comments and I'll tell. I've got a little story for you all. Yes, Michelle. How um, I was replying to Sue because she said that she tried to purchase the Journey Towards Healing CD, but it said we were sold out. No. And I said for her to email us up at the office. Yeah, uh, if you want the um, if you want the the uh, the actual CD, just uh, uh, any of any of the uh, guided meditations, please email us rosemary at rosemaryaltea dot com because we've got lots of them, so we can send you them. Uh, but you can also go onto iTunes and and all of those other different places and find it there as well. The CD is called A Journey Towards Healing and the one that is coming out is it okay, out? It should be out it's all submitted so it should be coming public anytime. So anytime now uh, you should also be able to get A Garden of Souls. So two of the guided meditations are out the first one is A Journey Towards Healing. It has been used in homes and hospitals around the world Has as have most of the meditations uh, the guided meditations and the the one that is coming out and maybe is already out is a garden of souls so you'll be able to get that one as well if you have trouble uh, acquiring them again if you want an actual cd uh, please uh, email me if you want any of the books again email rosemary at rosemaryaltair.com and we'll do our best but just put in the subject line what it is you want it's just quicker for us to sort of be able to to uh, you know to process quicker and easier I'm saying us and I really mean Michelle because she's the one who does all of that so um yeah next, oh, do we have anything else going on um Stephanie is on hi Stephanie and she said I need to overcome my anxiety the father of my children is a narcissist with a history of violence towards our eldest daughter our youngest was a baby when he moved out and he is trying to get unsuitable supervised visits i need to be calm and brave to face him yes so many believe the lies but i need my voice to be heard so i can protect my children um they are both gifted and emotionally intense is there any advice you have well you're a perfect candidate for the the guided meditation because that certainly will calm you and send to you and help and strengthen you and uh, show you that you you can be calm and that you can be centered. I know uh, many of my patients. I'm thinking one patient in particular would play that 
the uh, the journey towards healing should play it from morning till night and she knew it by heart so if she ever went into stressful situations she was she was very sick for a long time and um, if she ever went into stressful situations or she had to go into hospital for any reason she actually learned the the healing meditation and she would play it over and over in her mind and this would really help her and give her strength to cope and it also helped her to find a voice when necessary because there were a few times that she was put into hospital and because the hospital didn't know the situation or because we had a little bit of a stroppy nurse or something I would go in there and battle for her uh, but she learned to actually battle for herself and she learned to find her own voice so certainly some sort of a meditation or a guided meditation will help you tremendously but I also am going to advise that you sort of if if you can watching these uh, healing sessions you can absolutely learn uh, visualization techniques so if you can sit darling and visualize yourself you're the mama bear you sit there and you visualize yourself and your children and you visualize this beautiful golden protective circle around all of you the three of you then that also will give you the strength it, it isn't necessarily that you get strength from it although you do but it also and the most this is the most important thing i think it reminds us of the inner strength that we have please uh, um, let us know how you you get on i know that this i had a similar situation my own self and i know how awful and stressful and you just want to protect your children but you can do it and here is the thing that you have to remember more than anything else don't allow your husband or anyone else to intimidate you. Your voice can be as strong as anybody else's, if not stronger. And that doesn't mean you've got to shout or scream because the strongest of voices is the quietest. So do not allow other people to um, affect you. And it's all about your allowing it. Uh, when you allow other people to intimidate you, when other people try to uh, manipulate you, because I'm sure that's happening as well, it's because you've allowed it. Let's make no mistake about it. You are allowing this to happen. Uh, you didn't, I'm sure you didn't in the beginning, you didn't even realise that this was what was happening. You didn't realise that you were allowing it, but now you do know you need to be strong and you can do it. Be strong, be firm, visualize yourself and your children in this golden protective light. We shall put you on our healing book and you will, I'm sure, find your voice and you'll be able to protect your children the best way you possibly can. Remember, the loudest roar is not necessarily the one that is going to be taken notice of. It just drowns out everything else for a moment and then the quiet and the strong and the firm voice can be heard. So please don't be intimidated. All right, let's have our next question or comment, Michelle. Violet said, in case you didn't know, today is Wayne's birthday. Oh, I didn't know. And then she said, isn't yours May 19th? May 19th is my birthday. Can you say happy birthday to Wayne for me, please, Violet? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't realise. Okay. Next. Keep going. Yeah, we, we're made babies, obviously. Yes. Um, Judith, Judith asks, is there a place that has all your activities, sites and items for sale, a place to go to for everything? There, well... There's one in the works. There's one in the works. And in the meantime, if you would like to... Uh, email us again rosemary at rosemaryartair.com if you'd like to email us and Michelle can send you you know details of of the stuff that we have we we do have books we have cds we have guided meditations we have a whole huge number of things that uh, we have that uh, we're happy to sell you uh, again we're going to be giving away in the competition so don't forget to join the competition because we're going to be giving away books and, and meditations and all that stuff as well for that and um, you know anything else that you require of us we are Michelle and her husband are actually working on um, 
the website. Even the website, yes. With everything. With it's got everything. It's got the go-to. Yeah, so there, there you have it. So when do you think it'll be up, Michelle? As soon as I can get it up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, that is not I'm, an answer. I'm diligently working on it. I'm hoping within the next two weeks. Okay. Um, right. right now we're in a lot of give and take with different buttons and making sure that the stuff that we have on it is working properly to take them to where they need to be. Okay. Um, but I still have to send it to you for final review. So she's working on it. That's all we're saying. Uh, so watch out for that. But in the meantime, just email us and uh, and we'll have all the information that you need. Uh, um, and Michelle is pretty good at uh, replying to the emails. Uh, next question. I keep seeing things popping up. Michelle, how are we doing? Let's keep going. We're doing good. Um, Sue would like to know if it will benefit her husband and her to purchase a winter home in Texas. What do you think I am a fortune teller, Sue? Uh, you know, without knowing all of the details and all of the ins and outs, I'm loath to say. Um, I'm loath to say. Uh, I mean, off the top of my head, I could say it's very likely. But I had a, a lady who had a consult with me um, the other day. And one of her questions was uh, about moving and the, the benefits or otherwise of her and her husband uh, and, and her her family uh, uh, moving from where they were. There are so many uh, different things to consider. You would think it would be just an easy yes or no, but that's not true because what might benefit you might not benefit your husband as much and vice versa. What might benefit you as a family might be not as it would seem to be there are so many uh different uh you know things that you have to consider so without actually giving it more time and more effort if you you know i mean you I, I, if you really want to know these things i'm going to suggest either you have a consultation either with me or with with uh, somebody else you might know who can give you help and so on be careful who you go to though please and be you know don't uh, be afraid to be critical and a little cynical uh, because it, it pays off at the end of the day but I would be I would be um, absolutely uh, what is the word I would I would be going against everything that I believe in if I just said yes to this question because I and you should, very often I can say yes to somebody because it's straightforward but I think there's a whole other there's whole other issues going on sue with you that need to be put into consideration so that you can make the right choice moving on violet would like to know yes violet would you ever write a book of other people's spookier mysterious stories that they send to you like an anthology but with your comments on the experience oh i think that would be a really great idea I'd love it if anybody wants to start the ball rolling. Uh, maybe Violet has an idea of how we can do that. Yeah, that would be great, you know. So if you could write me, people could write in their experiences, true or otherwise, they could write in their experiences and then I could make a comment on what I thought about those experiences or even what they might have done or could have done or should have done or what have you. Yeah, I'd love to have, that would be a great book. Violet, great book, good idea. You start the ball rolling and I'm right behind you. I'll be very happy to do it. <laughs> Keep going. Stephanie said that her husband is really great. It's her ex-husband that's the problem. Yes, well. And he's trying to cause problems. My ex-husband. Well, if I, if I. Better be if, grateful that my husband now is a pacifist or else, cause, and he would do anything to protect me and the kids. Well, you then you're so lucky to have him there. And if I'm if I said husband, you you know what you know what I meant, uh, husband, ex-husband, whatever. Um, but uh, you know, I really feel that 
you know you can protect yourselves and you can protect against him but it's you're allowing your you know it's we get into the habit i think we we sort of we're with someone and they use intimidation and manipulation and they use all these tactics and we get so used to you know responding uh, in that way that we don't realize that we're the ones who can actually stop it uh, just by just moving away turning away from it but don't uh, don't allow your fears don't allow your fears to freeze you is what i'm saying to everybody these days please don't allow your fears to freeze you into inaction yeah keeping up okay so sue's saying she is planning to have a consultation with you oh good great then well wow. that should be one of your questions then sue right there <laughs> violet said that she will absolutely tell him what did you do with it's gone um the next one is marlene's on and she said yesterday the newest member of our family my brother had his fourth grandchild and my mother's 13th grandson. Oh, gosh. Wow. And I've just got one little boy. <laughs> How lucky that you all are with your big families. As, as, well, you know, maybe some of you think not so lucky, but, uh, you know, I could only have... I had several miscarriages before I had Samantha and then I had another couple after I had her as well. So I could only... I've only I could only keep the one and my daughter was exactly the same she could she could only have the one so but you know uh, that uh, that makes them special to us I'm going to tell a story while you're just sorting out some of the questions I'm ready when you are so I've I'm, got lots going here you, well I, I'll just tell you you all this because we're talking about sons and grandsons and so on my grandson the, the other day he threw up he you know who knows he must have eaten something or what have you and the first thing he, he yeah. called me up to tell me that i just thrown up mosey he said so he wanted me to know that he'd just thrown up so i said to him uh would you would you like mosey to send you a little bit of magic and some healing and he said yes and he's there in a heartbeat palms up <laughs> eyes closed and he says do I have to think of the color blue now, Mosey? Because I can think of the color blue. And he is like, he's seven years old, so into it. And uh, by the time we'd finished, felt so much better. He's very cute. That's my quick story. Keep going now. <laughs> All right. to you. Randy is on. Pardon? Randy is on. Morning. Afternoon, Randy. I keep going so, all the time. If my mother doesn't come through anymore, does it reflect how she feels about me? No. I love her so much, but we did bicker a lot. Oh, Her well. mom passed away 20 years ago, but I think, but she thinks of her daily. Listen, Randy, uh, I think, you know, I, I look at myself and my daughter and we, you know, we worship the ground each other walks on, but there are times when I could wring her neck for her. And I'm sure there are times when she could wring my neck too. A perfect relationship is not that you know when somebody says to me well, you know we've been together for all these years and we've never had one argument and that's wonderful for them but i'm thinking yeah a bit boring right <laughs> wouldn't that be a bit of a boring relationship not for a lot of people it isn't for a lot of people it's wonderful for for, for me it would be really boring and i think you know if i were to agree with my daughter all the time or she was to agree with me all the time uh, uh, we'd ex we both explode. We couldn't be able to do it. So just because you bickered, Randy, doesn't mean that uh, she's not there for you and she doesn't love you. And it's not that she's not there anymore. It's that you've moved on, which is a very good thing. But I'm sure that when the time is right and she feels that you need her around her, you'll you'll hear from her. Don't you worry. Keep going, Michelle. Um, Judas said frozen with a question mark. So I don't know if Judas throws up or... Uh, don't allow yourself to be fr to freeze, be to be frozen into inaction. In other words, sometimes we become so afraid that we just can't move, we can't speak, we can't do what we need to do. So you become frozen uh, by fear. And, uh, you know, you, you don't say the things that you want to say and you... You know you get tongue-tied or what have you so when i say to you don't allow yourself to be 
to become frozen by the fear. Don't allow the fear to affect you to the point where you, you know, you can't act as you would like to act. Okay. Keeping up, Michelle? And Judith said that she found her on Kindle. Sorry, what? She said that her comment is, I found her on Kindle. What did she find on Kindle? I don't know. It says, I found her on Kindle. That's all it says. Well, okay, then. We don't quite understand what you mean, my darling, but anyway. Uh, maybe you let us know. Okay. Other than that, we're all caught up again. Okay, well, that's it then. Uh, I think, you know, um, oh, somebody else popped up. Yep, uh, Margaret said, my daughter and I had a very similar dream about six months apart about a family member, which came true. We were astounded. Well, you know, very often, this is how our loved ones in the spirit world will communicate with us in our dream state or in our half awake half asleep state and uh you know for those of you and i'm going to suggest you know for you and for your daughter my darling you might want to keep a, a notepad and a pencil right next to your bed so that you know how you you sort of wake up and and it's right there and you remember it and you can see it clearly that's the moment to scribble it down because i can guarantee within five or ten minutes of waking up it's gone it can't remember it anymore it's just disappeared from your mind so uh, good for you. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased that you are communicating. I'm pleased that your family in the spirit world are communicating with you too. I am going to just very quickly tell you again about the competition in two parts. The first part, what is the best advice that anyone gave to you? Why did you take it? What happened? And so on and so forth. Well, of course, what was that advice? A second part of the competition, what is the best advice that you gave to somebody else? And again, why what was it and did they take it or not and so on we just need a bit of a blurb please send your entries into rosemary at rosemaryaltea.com uh, you can send in as many entries as you like we're going to have quite a few winners you know not just three or four as we usually do maybe even five or six or something i don't know and uh, you'll be the prizes will be books or cds or whatever i feel i put my hands on in that moment in time but uh, maybe the new book a walk in the clouds or maybe um the uh the um what else the the, the medit the uh, meditations uh maybe all maybe all of them who knows who knows what i'm going to put in the in the bag it's my birthday and uh, you know that song it's my birthday and i'll cry if i want to well and she i'm not going to cry on my birthday i'm going to laugh i'm going to have fun i'm going to enjoy myself and hopefully you'll be enjoying yourself along with me uh so please the closing date is the 19th of may which is next tuesday i do believe you can put in as many entries as you like and we'll be reading one or two of them out so don't let me down join 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 do we have anything else before we close this session today michelle judith clarified <laughs> she said that you you gave really good advice but you froze on facebook oh and so she had to go find you on the kindle oh sorry all right i didn't know you could find me on kindle That's interesting. Um, if your kindle has uh, the facebook app you can normally get into it oh really all right then i've just got a plain good old i love my kindle don't you all love your kindles uh anyway that's the end of that for me for now um anything else michelle um sue said thank you so much rosemary for sharing your time have a beautiful day all right, my darling, thank you. And thank you to everybody for watching. And uh, again, I will remind you if you need a consultation, books, uh, meditations, guided meditations, all of that stuff. If you want to know more about us, email me rosemary at rosemaryaltair.com. Please, please, please share. Please share. Please share with all of your friends. Please share with all of your Facebook friends. Please share with everybody that's out there because especially with our healing uh, afternoons, you know, you don't ever know when that's going to be able to help somebody else. And, and sometimes, you know, people ask a question and, uh, it, you know, there are people out there who have that same question 
Uh, you might not know, but they'll need an answer. So share, 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 please, with everybody. And uh, in the meantime, right, tomorrow, Thursday morning, I should be on at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our The Spirit World Sees All, and of course we know that it does. We shall be doing our Everything is Attitude show at 8 p.m. again, Eastern Standard Time, with my co-host Al, class tonight, for those of you who are interested in class, yes, 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 and, no, uh, you, pardon? You said class tonight. To, oh, sorry, tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow night. Uh, everything happens on a on a Thursday right now, but um, anyway, and then of course, da -da -da -da, we have story time on Saturday morning. What will the story be this time? The last week's story was about a little girl and a tiger, a tiny little three-year-old child in the spirit world, who was absolutely positive that her mother. Uh, knew all about the tiger and uh, of course eventually it turned out that she did so you'll find that our story time uh, on we will be doing it on our my main Facebook page but everything that we do will be downloaded and uploaded and put onto YouTube so if you can't find me on my Facebook uh, pages then uh, uh, you know just go to my um, my uh, YouTube channel you'll find me on youtube rosemary rosemary sorry rosemary alte if you're having a struggle with anything again rosemary at rosemary .com. let us know please put your requests or whatever it is whether it's for healing or whether it's for whatever it is if you could just put in the subject line so we have some idea of what it is that we we you know we can help you with and uh you know just um uh, just keep up with us. Uh, you'll find us on Twitter. You'll find us on Facebook. You'll find us on Instagram and wherever else. You'll find us all over the place. So in the meantime, until I see you again, hopefully in the morning, but until I see you all again, uh, please, 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 all of you out there, thank you, Michelle, for being great. So thank you to Grey Eagle. Uh, Kachora's gone in the corner again. Uh, and so thank you to all of you out there for watching have a very 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 blessed uh, rest of the day and uh, have a very blessed rest of the weekend remember positive thinking build those beautiful colors around you do not let anybody else get you down be strong be pure be positive bye everybody <laughs>